This video is proudly brought to you by Hovertech. Hovertech. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to bypass the pattern lock on an Android phone. At least for those who created patterns on their Android phones and for some reason forgot the correct pattern, then need to regain access to their phones. It's very important you don't keep supplying wrong patterns because that's what most people do. They keep entering wrong patterns and when you do that, you exceed the limit. And when you exceed the limit, the phone is going to get locked and you need to supply your Google credentials before you can regain access to the phone. Now in the case where you don't recall your credentials, your, that's your Google credentials, or you didn't associate the phone with a Google account, you need to boot into recovery mode, then do a wipe data factory reset in recovery mode. And when you do that, all your user data is gone. That means your phone contacts, SMSs, and the rest, all gone. So to avoid having to go that far, it's important you don't enter wrong patterns. So I'll be showing you how to bypass the pattern lock now. Before we proceed, I would want to show you, I want to prove to you that this pattern lock actually works. So I'll enter two incorrect patterns, wrong pattern. Alright, so that proves here. But I still want to confirm one more time. I'm going to enter the correct pattern right now. Alright, so I have access. So that proves to you that the pattern lock here actually works. So now I'm going to bypass this pattern lock. Now for you to bypass the pattern lock, USB debugging needs to have been enabled on the phone. You need to connect the phone to a PC and then you now have to have ADB set up on the PC. So I did have USB debugging was already enabled on my phone. It was already enabled on this phone. It's very important to always enable USB debugging on your phone in case your phone has some issue I need to fix. You understand? So it's very important you always leave that enabled. So I'm going to launch ADB now. I've connected my phone to the PC via USB cord. Now to launch ADB, you just open the ADB folder. You click on just click on this white space here. Now you hold down the shift button, then right click. Now you click open command window here. All right, so we have we've opened ADB. Now we want to confirm that ADB actually detects my device here. So I'll type this command ADB devices. All right, my device is listed here, so I do have ADB an ADB connection. Now the command proper starts. First, you need to get shell access. So ADB, I'm running this in shell. ADB shell. All right, I have shell. Now I would want to navigate a directory on the phone on the phone named data system. That is data system directory. So I type cd data slash system. Don't forget to cd space data slash system. So I press and enter. All right, I have access to that. Now, in this data system directory, I want to delete any file named anything.key. As far as that, uh, it has a .key extension, it is the one that stores the credentials which contains the pattern, which contains the correct pattern lock. So if I'm able to delete the file.key, any pattern I enter on the Android phone is going to be accepted. So I'm going to do this now. RM, remove, space star anything now it star means anything dot key all right then i press enter all right so now i'm going to confirm that the pattern lock has been removed now recall that the correct pattern was a w the other time so i'm going to enter just any pattern and i should have access all right so that is simply how to bypass the pattern lock on an android phone 